Alright, what's up, uh, viewers? I don't know what to call you people anymore, but it's been a while, I know. I'm excruciatingly lazy when it comes to making videos, but today I think I have something interesting to show you. Let me just adjust this tripod a little bit. Also, yes, I got a Fumo for Christmas, so that's cool. But today we're going to be playing Minecraft on a big server on Windows 98. This is a feature that I have recently added to my Minecraft launcher, which I can show you that working right now. All I have to do is go CBMC test. Uh, you can't see that, can you? Uh, here. It's a little dark. Uh, actually, I could just do this. Uh, bigger font. That's not big enough. Boom. Perfect. So now you have big font. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, and that'll work for now. Anyway, so if you don't know what it is, let me just drop a J A R P L. If you don't know what it is, my custom Minecraft launcher is a Minecraft launcher written entirely in Java 6 for uh, for old systems such as it still seems like it's a little far away Man, I hate tripods there that should be good enough it's a Minecraft launcher written entirely in Java 6 for old systems and I recently added the ability to use proper access tokens to play online but you need a more, we'll call it, modern system to authenticate. So what we're going to do is we're going to go authenticate right now, put it on this thumbstick, and we're going to show you, or now I'm going to play uh, Minecraft 1.8.9 on a big server. So let's hit over to my actual day-to-day -day computer and I'll show you how that works. Right, so this viewing angle kind of sucks, but this is my main computer with my authenticator loaded. So what we can do is we just have to run it. And it'll pull up a window over here that you can't see. I have to copy the code from it and paste it into here and press enter. Then it'll ask for an encryption key. So we just put in a super secure encryption key and it'll authenticate through Microsoft to get everything it needs and it'll save it to my computer. So then we can plug in our USB stick, give it this, or actually we could just uh, open in Thunar uh, here. Here is our authenticate, so we can just copy this, open our Heckle thumbstick, and paste it right here. And then we can eject it, close this, and now we have our authentication file on our USB stick, so we can go back over to the old computer. Uh, just the tripod a little bit. Alright, so here we are. Uh, here we are back on the old computer. We got my thumbstick. Make sure that's in focus, actually. Thumbstick. So we go ahead and plug it in. So then what we will do is we will copy. Uh, I don't know where it is. It is here. It is. We will copy this into this folder. So paste. Then close this and eject USB disk. Stop. Okay. Any minute now, it should be good to go. Yep. So then we can pull it out. So now what we can do is we can import our... Well, first we got to close this. And the way that this works right now, I have to manually specify how much RAM the, uh, the Java Virtual Machine gets. So, 1024. Uh, okay, so Java... XMX. This is to set how much memory the 
virtual machine will get because what we're going to be doing is there's a couple of bugs still in this which is why I haven't released it yet such as um, the I have to load an updated uh, cryptography library for obvious reasons so we're going to be launching the game in the same thread until I can fix uh, using updated cryptography crypt updated cryptography in a new java process but that's what alt launch is for here this launches the game in the same thread as the launcher it's also generally faster on older systems anyway so we can go over here to the account tab enter in my decryption key and click load off file uh that would be just load this and it'll say authentication information loaded, but I'm probably gonna have to blur this out because it has my uh, Minecraft access token on it. So then we can go back over here to the general tab, make sure alt launch is ticked, and click launch game. And this will take a couple minutes. Just because it has to make sure everything's all downloaded and stuff. Which it is, so. probably gonna have the blur part of that too that's cool anyway so here's minecraft 1.8.9 once it loads up so we can view our graphic settings here it's pretty low because I want to give this uh, the card in here is a GeForce 6800 it's not perfect but it's good enough but so now we've launched with our legal minecraft account we can go to multiplayer add server and we can do I believe it's play dot high or no I think it's just mc dot high pixel dot net I think is that right or is this wrong yes so as you can see we can just join the server maybe eventually oh god what the hell is going on what's our FPS at uh about 26 or something? Oh, no. We're at about 70-ish now. So, as you can see, I have my skin because we're properly authenticated with Microsoft. That's what we ran over on the other computer is properly, or is going through the, it's like five different layers you have to go through to authenticate with Microsoft. It's absolutely stupid. Uh, we're going to turn the audio down, so like that and I guess just to prove that this works let's play a quick round of something I don't know. oh geez uh, let's try where's like something easy like build battle because <laughs> I'd, I'd suck at most of these I'm more decent at playing uh, like survival mode but there's not a lot of big servers I know of that I could easily join, so... Yeah, let's just queue here. As you can see, other people have... Oh, man, this lag. What is my, uh, crouch button? Uh, okay, that doesn't work. So, we'll go with that. There we go. You know what, I'll just cut this out. And we'll be back once this is done. Alright, we're back with about, uh, 15 seconds left in the game. I, the audio started popping, so that's cool. But I built a really crappy cave because I kept getting uh, lag spikes, so let's see if I win or not, and let's see how well this computer can handle other people's buildings.
computer's having a little bit of a hard time. It's mostly just when it has to render new, new chunks, I think, is when it struggles the most. Probably just because it's, it's running entirely on run one core. Eh, this one's okay. It's running entirely on one core. Yep, okay, this one's, this one's mine, and it, and it sucks. Is this terrible? Why did I build this? Ooh, this one's really nice. It doesn't even know what our CPU is, that's funny. I wonder what the problem is there. It's probably Windows 98's fault. Oh, it's, it's probably Windows 98's fault or something. I don't know what this is. What is this? What the? Oh. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to blur that entire thing. That, that's cool. Thank you. Uh, this one's not that last one, so, you know. Who won? Oh, no, particle effects. Ah, my FPS. Ah, yeah, this one won. That was a good one. So, I'm not gonna play more Build Battle, because, uh, yeah, I'm not a Minecraft youtuber i just needed something to show that yes this still works but yeah so despite what microsoft tell told you you can still play online on windows 98 windows xp2 probably you just have to know how to do it one last thing before the end of the video uh i tried to close the game and it crashed so that that's cool thank thank you windows 98 cool so that's all I got for now. This is a shorter video to hopefully motivate me to actually finish the video. So, I got a couple other things down in the pipeline that will hopefully come out eventually. Like a Hackintosh video, a uh, video about uh, running stuff on my PlayStation. A uh, couple other things. But, other than that, that's all I got. Hope you have a good rest of your day. See you later.